Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have a super amazing tutorial that you don't wanna miss. Now, if you enjoy software tutorials, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because we always have great ideas for you. But today we are focusing on using Canva templates. Alright guys, so here we are on the Canva website and I thought it was important to start here that way you can understand exactly what Canva is because a lot of people talk about it and all of the different um, things that you can do with it. It's really great for, you know, setting up your own graphics and things like that. But what's even better, in my opinion, is the fact that there are so many Canva templates available on Creative Fabrica. Now, what I mean by that is that you can literally find a template for like today, we're going to use a thank you card template. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. You can search for Canva printable templates and you will get this exact template in an editable format. Okay. And that's what's most important is because a lot of times when you download, you know, different graphics or different things to use, whether it's for your business or personal, you know, they don't come in a format that you can easily edit them. So that's what I love about Canva templates. So what I'm going to show you today, I just picked out, um, like I said, this cute little thank you card, and I'm going to go ahead and choose download. Now what this is going to do is it's actually going to download Usually it's a set of instructions. Okay, yep, there we go. So what I wanna do is go to your files and instructions and I'm gonna double click. And of course there are instructions to walk you through exactly how to do this. So that way, you know, if there are specific things that are special to that template, such as I like that it shows that you can print four to a page, I really like that a lot, um, but there's just a lot of really useful information that are usually included in with these files. But what I want in particular is gonna be this link right here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link and I'm gonna go ahead and just paste it into the Canva window I already have open because I'm already signed in on that window. So I'm gonna click use template and so, again, we have some basic instructions here, but it tells you, you know, to copy and paste the link below in your browser, yada, 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 those sorts of things. And then this is the um, format for the template that we're using today. So it tells you you can delete after reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that. And then this is going to be, um, the, you know, sometimes they'll include different things from the designer. So you can go ahead and take that out too. But basically this is all we need. But what I wanna show you, let's go ahead and just zoom in a little bit. I want you guys to see. What I can do is I can literally click into the text boxes and type in my own information. Okay, and that's going to be true for any of this. So I can type in all of my information for my social media. Um, if I want to include a coupon code, which I think is, you know, great for business. Um, but I can personalize literally every aspect of this template to make it my own. All right. So once you do that, then the super easy thing to do, if you go to print postcards, you can actually have them professionally printed. Or if you go to share, we can go to download and we can download this for our own. So once it downloads, I can literally click on it to open and you'll see that I have a finished copy right here. Okay, super easy. Like that is literally how easy it is to use templates in Canva. Now there are a lot of other really great things that you can do in Canva even with um, a template like this, such as you can change the font. Now you can choose from fonts that they have available, or if you subscribe to the pro version of Canva, if you use Canva Pro, which is a paid subscription, it's not needed for using templates, but it is an option for you. But with that option, you can even upload your own fonts that you have downloaded, of course, from Creative Fabrica or potentially other websites. But, um, you know, and all of that goes along with your branding. And then what I also like about this is that a lot of times if you go to the portfolio of a specific designer, they will have other elements that will have the same feel that will help you with your branding. 
okay? So like for example, if you're going to graphic templates, these are going to be usually items that you can use for Instagram, items that you can use for, here's a, an email um, template. I mean, lots of really great things. But as you can see, the same as what was with our welcome card, a lot of these have a very similar feel. They have similar colors, similar fonts. We can even go back and go to print templates. These are going to be our thank you cards. So there's really a lot of great things that you can do with your branding, um, you know, using these Canva templates. And they're so ridiculously easy. Like I cannot stress you how easy it is to use these templates. But, you know, so like I said, if you want to change out the font, you can come in here and click on a new font. And of course you can decrease the font sizing. And you can even rearrange it because it has all these little guides also. So see, as I move it, all these guides pop up to help you keep it centered and keep it looking good. Okay. Now I'm not saying that you want to come in here and change the fonts. A lot of times, you know, if you've chosen a particular template is because you like the fonts that come with it, but something like this, like creative fabrica, I may want to change that to, you know, a print font. Okay. So that it looks just easier to read. And I will be able to choose, you know, any fonts from the list. We'll just choose something basic here. I mean, I can stretch out my box and recenter it. So it's literally so, so, so I know I keep saying that, that it's so easy, but it's, it's literally that easy. And in addition to that, you can even add other elements. So like if you wanted to, maybe you don't want to include a coupon code, but you want to include a logo. You can go to uploads. You can go to upload media. So if your, your downloads folder, you can select your logo. Well, I say downloads folder. That is in my downloads folder, but you can locate it on your computer. And then there's even elements. So like if I go to elements and I want to insert a photo, if I go to frames, I can add a circular frame just as an example. And then go to my uploads and drag and drop my logo in there. Now this is a white background, but you know, just something else that you can keep in mind. And when it comes to colors and branding, like we were just talking about, for example, if I want to color match this right here, if I come up to my font color, you'll show me uh, the document colors here. So I can select a specific color and go to my photo colors so I can match that. You can even add your own colors, maybe with a hex code, or you can use your little eyedropper tool and grab the color that you're looking for. And then of course, if you want to change the color um, of a graphic, it's going to depend on uh, the type of file it was imported as. Because a lot of times when you're looking at like a PNG file or a JPEG, depending on where that element came from, you may not be able to change the um, color for that one. But what you can do, if I go to edit image and go to adjust, well, I would be able to adjust just a basic color, I mean very basic color adjustment using the tint. So if I wanted it to be more pink than peach, I would be able to do that here. You can, of course, can also change the contrast and the brightness, okay? So all that's up to you. Now, like I said, most of the time when you are using a template, it's because, um, you know, you like the colors and the fonts. I mean, these templates are always gorgeous. I can't say that I've ever looked at a template and just thought, man, that's a terrible template, you know, but these are just things to consider whenever you're working in Canva. And it also opens up options because if you do happen to see a template that you like, but maybe there's one element that you would like to change, well, then you know that you can come in here and do that. Now that I have kind of finalized that, let's go ahead and just download a new copy. Now this part is going to be dependent on um, your computer and what programs and everything that you have. But if I open this up, the important part is, is that this is just an image. So I can use this file 
to print um, really from any program that I already have. You can open it up in Microsoft Word. You can open it up like, you know, I use Silhouette Studio a lot. You can bring this into Cricut Design Space. There are a lot of really great things that you can do. Now that you've downloaded this, you can, um, you know, go ahead and print off copies. You can send them to be printed, things like that. So it's a very versatile um, copy of the file that you created and you know you can just print unlimited copies and stay in touch with you know like I said the branding and having that professional image to include this with your orders and make sure that people can find you on social media and find you in all the different places and even just feel appreciated all right a nice little note to say hey thank you for your order I appreciate it it reaffirms that you're a small business and just you know kind of gives them the warm and fuzzies whenever you add finishing touches like this it just really helps to um, you know make your customer feel appreciated and feel connected with you which also build brand loyalty so lots of really great things come from canva templates lots of really great things come from making these small investments in your business and hopefully you will learn how to use Canva templates so that you can take your business to the next level. But for today, guys, that's all we have on Canva templates. So guys, how did you feel about learning to use templates in Canva? Now I promise quick and easy is the name of the game, but it's also very rewarding because it is literally the definition of little effort, but big reward, because I can almost promise you that, I mean, really, this will make a huge difference to your business, to your professional image, and it's not something that you will regret. And, you know, that's just in terms of these little thank you cards. The wide variety of templates that are available on Canva can really blow your mind. Everything from social media to birthday invitations, everything in between, okay? So definitely make sure you check them out, because it doesn't get any easier than that. Now, if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you any way I can. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. Keep to help us grow in the channel and we can keep bringing you these videos in the future. But for today, guys, I am going to wrap it up. I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you again next time.